Okay, so we're in the middle of this heat wave right now. It is 1120 and it's already 34 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Fahrenheit in my secan job. Now, I've been getting up early, like this morning I got up and I was working here at five o'clock this morning just so I can beat this heat. But like literally by noon, I mean after lunchtime, it'll be 40 degrees, it'll be like 105 degrees Fahrenheit in here. That's what it was yesterday afternoon when I was working. So one thing I wanna try is, since this is a metal seat container, that's where all the heat comes. I mean, we're getting up to like 30 degrees Celsius, like 90s, what's that? Sorry, I'm just looking at the, so we're getting up to like, we're getting up to 90 degrees during the day, which is warm. It's warm here, but this is like a big, huge heat sink, and that, that sun beats on the steel. And what I'm wondering is if I put a sprinkler on the roof of the shipping container and uh, just leave it on, if the evaporative cooling will help cool the inside of the shop. I'm wondering about that. Alright, so before we turn it on, let's just give ourselves a, a reference. 105 degrees. Let me see you jump. So it's only been going on for about five minutes and it is noticeably cooler feeling in here. Um, so there's a little bit coming out, like uh, even that breeze with the, the mist and it is so much cooler. It's hitting this side. I've got it turned down quite low, just enough to keep back and forth. And I'm telling you, I can, I can really notice a difference. Let's see, 68 degrees. In like five minutes, this roof has gone from 105 degrees to 68 degrees. That is awesome. All right, so this is exciting. Uh, it was at 34 degrees Celsius, and now we're just above 30, and it is 1213. So we've got outside air temperature going up, but the temperature in here is going down. That is awesome. Okay, well, I've been working here all day. It is 6.30 in the evening, and um, I tell you what, I cannot believe how good that cools this place down. Obviously, it's not very efficient. I mean, we've got a well, so it's not like I'm using like city water or something like that, uh, but at the same time, I'm running the pump, so that's, it's not the cheapest option. I just wanted to see if it would actually work. Uh, I asked my dad, I said, do you think that'd work? He goes, oh yeah, of course it will. <laughs> so it's it's amazing. Like I, I didn't break a sweat in here at all today. Uh, I turned it off and the temperature went up a little bit more. Uh, well, it's like 31 now. And just, wow, that's so cool. This actually kind of got me to thinking, like if I lived in a really hot climate and I had a shipping container that I worked out of, I would actually seriously consider putting some type of, you know, if you had like a big long stretch of PVC pipe with misters on it, or even little water jets, because it really doesn't take a lot of water. In fact, the sprinkler, as low as it could go while still moving, uh, it put out way more water than it needed. Like the water is running down to the ground and stuff. Ultimately, you just want to keep it lightly wet and just that constant evaporation would really keep this place cool. But I don't know, it's kind of like a little proof of concept, kind of tried out and I'm really impressed. So. That's something to consider if you're ever looking to do like a shipping container shop or a building where you're gonna work in that gets really hot, especially due to the sun. Uh, man, that cooled it down. And literally, I only had the sprinkler on. It's probably maybe like a, uh, the path was about maybe 10 feet wide. So if you had pipes with like a drip system all the way along this entire thing, 
Uh, most sea containers are crowned, and so if you're dripping it on top and there's enough to run off both sides, I think this place would stay really comfortable, even when it's like 34, like today, well right now it's 34 degrees, so that's what, like nine? Let me check. So outside it's 34, so it's just above 90 degrees. And like literally in here it was 40 degrees. And uh, I've been working in here the last few days at 40 degrees Celsius. You just have to shut it down around four o'clock and come back out in the evening. But this was really good. This was the most comfortable work day I've had uh, for a few days now. And I might be using this quite a bit more uh, because the, uh, the forecast, we've got like two weeks of hot, hot weather. So anyways, thought I'd try it out. It was kind of cool, it worked. Cheers.